ryegrass in the wintertime is aesthetically, is aesthetically pleasing, but you also have Bermuda that is dormant in the wintertime, but the surface is just as good as ryegrass. Even though it's not green, it's still, it's still a good playing surface. There's, I mean, some people think that, oh, it's green, it's good. Not always the case. Uh, a, a dormant Bermuda field will hold up just as good as a ryegrass field. So, um, if you see any, from an aesthetics point of view, any what could be looked at as, as burn marks, uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? Yeah, no, I mean, in right here, you, you can see the difference uh, of ryegrass right here. It's a little bit darker right here. Yet over here, a little bit lighter green. You can see some Bermuda that still hasn't quite woken up. Um, that, that stand right there is just as strong as this stand over here. So, I mean, it, it's just people see the, the green as, as being good, where they think when they see brown, it's dead. It's not really, I wouldn't call it dead. It's really dormant. It's, it's still uh, just hasn't woken up. It's so the grass being summertime. greener isn't always the best thing. Not, no, it, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not always. Now for lawn care. Yeah, in your own home. Is that a good thing? Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you want to be better than your neighbor, then you, if, you, if you have a summertime grass in the, in the wintertime, you can overseed it with a winter grass. And then in the summertime, you let that winter grass kind of die out and you've got green grass again. So your neighbors are going to be like, wait a minute, how does this guy have green grass all year round? And that's, that's the trick to it. You have a, you have a, a C3, which is wintertime grass, and you have a C4 grass, which is summertime. Okay. And that's that's the difference. And that's why some, some houses have green grass all year long and others <laughs> others don't. They think theirs is dead. Right. <laughs> now, we have here grass patterns, which you see pretty much in any mm -hmm. grass yes. surface. Yep. Now, what kind of, is there a certain type of process, lawnmower process, that goes behind certain patterns? Well, the pattern you see here, what you see, you'll see a light and dark. So what yeah. that is, all that is, is that the, the blades of grass are different colors on top and bottom. So you go one way, and there's always a roller on the back of the mower as you're mowing. It will lay the grass down that way. As you come back, it's laying it down the other way. So you're just seeing that the top and bottom of the grass blade. Okay. They're two different colors. It's not, it's not two different types of grass. It's just the... Uh, top and bottom half of the blades of grass. Now, if the Galaxy ever wanted to mow, like put a grass pattern of their logo, like what certain baseball teams do during the first week of the season, if MLS ever would permit it, uh, in terms of the logo looking precisely the way it should, mm -hmm. um, in terms of angles and curvatures, mm -hmm. Is there a little, is the process a little more tedious for that? Absolutely, the process is way more tedious. You, I, I, I wouldn't even really use a, 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 I would mow the field first and then I would get brooms and squeegees and anything else to kind of lay the grass over to, to get that uh, logo down. Because it, it, having a, a mower that's, you know, six feet wide, you need some areas yeah, that exactly. are a little bit smaller. So you would just use, you would use brooms. To, to broom in to broom in the logo and that folks is why you don't see logo patterns that often <laughs> yeah exactly